hey you guys welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here welcome so what i'm currently about to do is a color service on my client i did do a poll in my community tab on youtube asking you guys what video you like to see and this video was the one that was chosen so this video i will be showing you guys how i did 11 hour copper hair color service so before we get into the video i want to just talk about what i currently did at this moment this is a strand test and what a strand test is utilized for is for you to show your client how the full color will look on their head also it's for you to protect yourself to make sure that your client hair can take the service without any damage or any issues with the hair so always do a strand test i'm telling you you guys as a stylist if you do a strand test it will save you so much time so much hassle and also it will give your client the ability to be comfortable with the service and with most of my color service it does take quite some time so I do understand why color is uh, charged the way it's charged because, honey, yeah. When I say 11 hours, I mean every bit of the 11 hours. But anyway, let's get into today's video. all right you guys so let's get into the video so i want to first start off by saying happy holidays i hope you enjoy your holidays and i hope you have fun and you ate good but anywho so what you will see me do today is transform my client hair from her natural hair color which was a level two which is natural black so it does still have like really really dark brown to it but when you're just looking right at it it does look black and you will see me change it to this and it came out so cute right this is a really really pretty copper color it looks so good on her and it complements her skin tone so so well i just want to say copper is the new it color it looks so good on our own um, black and brown girls it is just like it's the new thing i think people are kind of moving away from like doing blondes and doing more coppers that's just what i have noticed and how i feel but leave comments down below are you a copper girl are you a blind girl are you like eh, i like to keep it safe and keep my hair the natural color that it is whichever way you look gorgeous girl but anyway i love this color and it looks so pretty so let's just get into how i achieved it let's go okay so the color we will be doing today will be color 8 cg by matrix so it's the level 8 and it's copper gold and i was able to achieve that with just the 20 volume developer and lightener and what is lightener lightener is also considered bleach so some people call it lightener and some people call it bleach most of the time i call it lightener just for it's easier for the clients to digest because when you say bleach you automatically think like bleach like bleaching the bleach in my clothes so i like to say lightener because it's to me it's easier to take in as a client so what i'm currently doing right now is i'm about to apply my uh, lightener on my client and i mix that with the 20 volume developer and how it goes is one scoop of lightener is two ounces of developer all right so what you want to make sure is that you completely saturate the hair with the lightener you don't want to leave 
any spots untouched because you don't want hot spots. Hot spots is, to be honest and to be frank, is ugly. So you don't want to put in all this effort to achieve your color, but it comes out ugly because you didn't saturate it. So do not be scared to apply the lightener all through the hair. You want to make sure every piece of the hair that is on the foil is uh, saturated with the lightener. Now, how I like to do is I prefer to uh, do sandwich with my foils instead of like folding it over. I like to apply all the um, lightener to the hair and then you'll see me do it right here. I take another piece of foil and I just sandwich it. I like to do it like that. There's so many other ways you can do it, but this is the way I like to do it. And I just work my way up from there. Now, uh, like I said, with my client hair, her hair is not thick. Her hair is not thin. It leans more into the middle. So I am able to take just a little more bigger parts than what I would take if I was doing someone with thick hair. You want to keep that in mind. If the client has thick hair, you want to take smaller parts. If the client has fine hair, uh, I'm sorry, if the client has thinner hair, then you can take bigger parts. And if your client is in the middle, like my client right here, then you could take medium parts. So what you see me doing right here is once again, applying the lightener all through the hair. Once again, this is where you see me just, I take that lightener and I just go into the hair. I get, it gets very messy, very, very messy, but you want to make sure that your client hair is completely saturated because once you do the sandwich it starts to cook and when i say cook means that the actual uh lightener starts to take place and you start to see your hair lifting and also changing so yeah now when you are doing this as you can see i do left to right up and down and yeah, that's what you want to do because once again, like I said, you want to make sure the lightener is applied all over. Now, of course, when it comes to a chemical service, especially when it comes to color, you guys, I definitely recommend please go to a professional and even going to a professional, go to when your hair is natural, I'm going to, I'm going to say this, when your hair is natural and you want to uh, color your hair go to a professional that specialize in natural hair color and <clears throat> i have colored um all hair textures and when i say all hair textures i used to work at um tg tgf and i also used to work at supercuts and at those places i colored hair as well and when i was coloring hair at those places i was also coloring mostly uh, white and Hispanic hair. And honestly, I can say by coloring um, white, Hispanic, and also now coloring black hair, it's different, it's different. And I know sometimes that can be con controversial, if I said that word right, but I'm not trying to be, I'm just trying to be honest in coloring uh, different races of people here I noticed that that does it does play a factor when you decide to get your hair colored by someone you want to go to the person that has the education and the experience of your hair and not just coloring hair because honestly if all you have done was colored um, nat if you haven't colored natural hair, then it's certain things you wouldn't know about. And by me coloring natural hair, what I have noticed is that <clears throat> even though all natural hair is not the same and how the hair lift is differently too, because I saturated my client hair the way I would normally do anybody hair of any texture of any race. But also I noticed that the way her hair took in the lightener was different. It was different than also from the many other natural hair people I have colored before. 
uh, with hers, I had to do <clears throat> multiple uh, applying when it comes to the bleach because some places, even though it was saturated with the uh, lightener, it still didn't lift. And so that is something that I noticed only with doing natural hair that I never experienced when I was doing uh, white and Hispanic hair when it came to coloring. So, of course, I color all people hair, but I'm just saying in general, if you decide to go get your hair colored, then go to someone that not only special in coloring hair, but also special in coloring your hair because some things they may not know with somebody that has been doing your hair type a lot will know. Do you get what I'm saying? Leave comments down below if you understand what I'm saying. Because I'm not trying to be rude or anything like that. Because I know on social media, everything can be taken differently and it can be sensitive. But I'm not trying to be rude or racist or anything like that. I'm just trying to be honest so everybody can get the best results when you decide to do something like this. <laughs> I did both sides the same way and what I stopped because I wanted to show you guys sorry I'm losing my voice but I stopped because I wanted to show you guys right now um, this is the level that I'm looking for it's more like a banana color type of level but this is uh, around the level seven and eight It's in between seven and eight more leaning towards eight than seven but what I uh, do right here is I just take a um, an actual towel and I wet it down with water and I saturate it with that water and I just remove the bleach slowly off the hair. This is also for me to uh, see the elasticity of the hair to make sure the hair is still healthy. Also to stop the lightener from uh, lifting the hair because I'm at the level that I desire to be. So I don't need to uh, continue to lift. So what I currently do right here is once again, saturate the hair. Then I take the rag and just wipe off all the lightener off the hair. So I could continue to uh, apply the, co I said the color, I'm sorry. The apply the lightener to the rest of her hair, but yeah. So I'm so excited because it has lift and it is even the way I like it. And also I can just see how you can see it has like that orange undertone. And if you think about the color copper, copper has a lot of orange in it. And the level that my client is going for is more of a, a level eight, which is the high level of copper. So you will see a lot of orange. So just think about that when you are lifting the color, like what is the 
the primary color uh, that your client is going for. So, for example, if your color, if your client was going for red, then you want to make sure the undertone has a lot of red in it too, because you want to make sure the color do not look ashy. You want to make sure the color look rich. You want to make sure the color look hydrated. You want to make sure the color look natural. You want to make sure the color just look beautiful all over. So your undertone is very, very important, you guys, when you are doing a professional color. Some awfully, I said farewell. You took it well. Promise I won't cry. Must be built. Be a bit for tower. Give me another valve. Give me another hour or two. Hour or two. Why you bother me when you know you don't want me? Why you bother me when you know you got a woman? Why you hit me when you know you know better? Alright, so now the back is lifted to the level I want it to be. So I washed it out and uh, now what I'm going to do is apply the lightener to the rest of the back of her hair. Now, the reason why I break this up in uh, doing it is because I don't want hot spots, of course, at the base of her hair because right close to the scalp, you get heat from the scalp so it makes the lightener lift quicker so to have more control you just always do the mid shaft in the ends first and then come back and do the base and close to the scalp last so you can have more control you can see it you know when to wash it out and also it will have that even lift we want an even lift because we want a professional beautiful color so we want to make sure we have an even lift lift so that's what you see me right here is just applying the lightener to the base of her hair now i do want to say this like when it comes to things i love to do with with hair because i do i believe i do a good amount of different services right uh, but if I could pick my favorite two services, it would be coloring hair and cutting hair. I love to color and cut. I enjoy it so much. I think it's because, uh, what I enjoy about it is that in the process of doing it, um, you still have to think, you know, it's you, it's not a repetitive type of thing. And what I mean by that, I would say like most of it is your knowledge and just constantly doing it, you getting better at it. But sometimes you're still thinking when you're doing it so you can just, you know, get through something because sometimes you can come up, come up on a hiccup. And I enjoy that. I enjoy the, um, the learning consistently when it comes to hair and I feel like when it comes to cut and coloring it constantly keep you thinking it constantly keep you on your toes so I think that's why I love it so much but I really enjoy coloring hair you know, 
fall and you run when you see my big guns run around run away as the rebel comes out then you go call on me when you call me i come and then you go again with your deaf ears open your mind to the sound of the trumpet what do you want from a life of the hopeless now yeah you want you begging and crying I want to fly here yeah, I'm flying to Mali running away to the land of discovery running away from the suffering I'm gone yeah running away from the darkness I'm out yeah yeah I had done all the limits going way beyond the noise and you feel it when you speak all I can hear is silence Running back from all the pain and violence Big tunes, now it's big tunes, I'm kidding Cry now from the shine, now come all right so what i'm about to do right here is just slow it down real quick so i can show you guys what i'm doing so i'm just dividing the hair in small little parts and just applying the lightener in between those parts on both sides left and right you want to make sure you completely saturate the hair and you want to make sure you do very small parts uh because you want to make sure every piece of the hair has lightener on there because you want it to have that even nice lift so you want to make sure you saturate the hair and you just apply the lightener to the hair just like you see me doing right here and yeah and you go from top to bottom and left to right and this is how you prevent hot spots so I believe in this video, I have said saturated and hot spots over and over again. So that is going to be the word, the two words of the day, saturate and hot spots, because you want to make sure your color comes out pretty. all right so i want to slow it down right here in real time so what i'm currently doing right here is just checking the back to see has it lift to my desire uh level and it has so what i'm currently going to do is just use the water bottle to spray the actual lightener to stop it from uh activating in the hair and i'm going to take a towel right here and just wipe it off now I definitely will say it's multiple ways to achieve uh, lifting the hair. This is just the way I like to do it because it gives me more control over the situation. And also it constantly gives me the same results, which is good results. So uh, I always do this way. Of course, in the future, I predict I will have a system one day. This is what I desire and it's on my vision board. So one day I will have a assistant and I will be able to do this differently, get through the hair faster and be able to, you know, get the client in and out quicker. Alright, so as you can see, I have lift 
all over and as you can see it is great it's great the list is great now at this point i was tired i'm gonna be honest I, your girl was tired but i was happy because the lift looked so good it really really does so what i'm currently doing is applying the rest of the lightener to the base of the hair up top of course so it can lift as well since i already lift the uh, mid shaft in the ends of her hair all i'm doing is applying it making sure i what saturate the hair and making sure it's no hot spots so that's what i'm currently doing and i'm going to do my slices like i did the back i'm just going to do the same when it comes to the front make sure you do your slices uh you make sure you make medium to small uh parts and you want to apply the lightener between the parts and you want to apply it left to right and as you can see that's what i'm currently doing you can have So I'm going to slow it down in real time. And what I'm currently doing is what I did the last time. The same method applies when you go through the rest of the hair. Uh, you lift, make sure you're bringing it to the level that you desire. Once you have done that, take the spray bottle to apply the water to the actual lightener to stop it from activating in the hair. And then you take the towel to uh, remove the lightener completely. It's off the hair so that's what i'm currently doing the rest of the steps is the same all through when it comes to lifting the hair you always want to make sure we have a what a even lift all right basically lifted uh so what i'm doing is shampooing her hair at this moment now it's too like i use the um olaplex shampoo conditioner and i believe uh number two is in between the shampoo and conditioner but i use the olaplex line uh when i am doing color you can use olaplex or to shampoo out the hair or you could use a moisturizing shampoo and a moisturizing conditioner. Uh, I definitely recommend Olaplex because it is a bonding builder. And I like to incorporate Olaplex through my whole system when it comes to doing color. Because I like to build the bonds back because we had to break the bonds. So I like to build them back. So that's what I'm currently doing is just shampooing the hair out with the Olaplex. All right, so now we are currently through from rinsing out 
the lightener and when you are doing color you do not want to follow through by doing a conditioner when you are rinsing out the lightener do not condition if you are rinsing out the lightener because you want to apply the color and you want to make sure you keep the uh, cuticles open by uh, applying the conditioner then you just close the cuticles and everything like that so you don't want to do that make sure you just rinse out the lightener do not uh, follow through with the conditioner but look at that this is with her hair just lifted with the 20 volume and lightener that's it and look how look how high the lift we got with just a 20 volume so what i'm going to do is blow dry her hair um 80 percent dry so i can apply the color so I always follow through by doing a leave-in conditioner a leave-in conditioner is fine because it's very lightweight and it won't interfere with the color depositing into the hair so i just do that for like just protection and to also put a little bit of more moisture into the hair when I'm blow drying the hair. So that's what I'm currently doing right here. But I'm just amazed how nice that lift is. Like, yeah. And this is just with 20 volume, you guys. That's why I say you don't have to go hard and go strong and be like, I'm gonna use a 30 volume because I want so many lifts. Like with virgin hair and a, a good lightener in 20 volume, you can get great results. I believe like I always can get between five, almost six levels of lift with my matrix um, lightener and my 20 volume developer. That's just what I usually get. And I, that's why I love matrix so much. It's so many reasons why I love them, but I do love their line in general like their color line their uh lightener line all of that like it really does cater to the natural natural hair and Back in so i try to find the first part of this video but i couldn't find it i'm so sorry but what i'm currently doing right now is i'm applying the color all over her head now the color we are using is the 8cg by matrix and this is a, a demi color so it is a deposit color and to deposit it i use the 10 volume developer equal parts on the uh, developer and also the actual color now at this point what i need you guys to do for me is hit that like button please hit the like button and also tell a friend and a family because i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers we are almost there we're probably like under 200 people so just tell a friend tell a family tell one person and share this with one person so we can get to thousand subscribers but i also need you guys to like the video because by liking the video it lets me know that this type of video is interesting to you guys and also it gives people the opportunity to learn and take some valuable information as well and another thing I need you guys to do is leave a comment down below. I always like to uh, interact with you guys and comment down below maybe something you learn. Or if you can give me some tips, then please give me some tips. I'm definitely open to taking information from you guys because I like to learn as well. 
and or if nothing at all leave a heart down below to let me know that you appreciate everything i do on this channel because i do it for you guys and just to be honest right now it's like almost two o'clock in the morning and i had to carve out time just for you guys because my life is so busy being a mom being a wife being a business owner is so very little bit of time i have to edit videos but if I had to do it at 2 o'clock in the morning, I would do it at 2 o'clock in the morning for you guys. But, yeah. So, thank you. <laughs> it's As you can see the color is applied all over so right now I'm just gonna let it sit for 35 minutes on her head which is the maximum time yeah 35 minutes I just let it sit and I just go through look at the hair all over to make sure it's applied all over now it's messy it's messy like it's messy but it's gonna come out so beautiful but anyways I um just I just let it sit for the 30 minutes and then I'm going to uh, wash it out and then I'm going to deep condition and then I'm going to come back and blow dry our hair. You're going to see it when I come back. All right, so we are back. We are back. So what I'm currently doing, I'm just going to silk her hair out. I already uh, blow dried her hair and everything like that and I'm just... I'm back showing you guys me pressing it out like look at the color now when you have seen it you have seen all the red tones or whatever and the red is more the dominant color when it comes to copper but the formulation um, is more copper gold like once you shampoo it out you see the actual formulation is copper gold so I just want to say that because previously what you seen was a lot of red so you would think like oh her hair color is gonna be red right but no 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 red is just the most dominant color in the formulation for copper gold but yeah this is pretty 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 like um, my client said she went out that night and got so many compliments so many compliments and uh, of course she passed out my number <laughs> so I will be receiving um, I hope more people coming to get their color and also if you're interested in getting your hair color and you're located in Houston and you're looking for a natural hairstylist that specializes in color and healthy hair then go ahead hit the link down below and book your appointment first book your consultation so we can discuss the color and see what we can do and then moving forward we will move forward with booking your color service so yeah Hit the link down below to book your appointment 
But yes, her color came out so beautiful, so, so beautiful. So I think this is the end of me talking. Like you will just continue to watch the video. And when we get to the end, I will wrap everything up. But thank you. So we're at the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much once again for watching my video. Remember to drink your water for healthy hair, skin, and nails. And this will be it. I'm about to go watch the Soul Train Awards because Coco Jones and Oriex Leonard, yeah, is my favorite two artists and they are going to be on there. So Check out the Soul Train Awards. And if you have watched it, comment down below who was your favorite artist on the Soul Train Awards. But look at this color. Talk to you guys later. Bye.